yes people and welcome back to another video on the bridge youtube channel where we bring you all things chelsea i'm your host of the most the bridge 258 here to give you the latest chelsea transfer news here we go so i'll start with some of the main news in regards to moises caicedo obviously as we both know as we're watching this video there's still been no progress in regards to the chelsea and brighton negotiations that we've had about um it seems that brighton are still holding out for around about 100 million pounds um they believe that caicedo is of a similar ilk if not a higher ceiling in terms of talent to um, declan rice declan rice of course was sold to arsenal for 105 million pounds so they're clearly expecting something similar to that amount but according to sources around about 100 million chelsea still believe they can get the deal done for around about 80 million pounds however there's been some news that's come out in regards to caicedo's side they caicedo feels that you know um brighton are kind of holding him for ransom essentially because they're not trying to ag uh, agree a deal with chelsea um he felt like he shouldn't have been here already he's kind of disappointed in the way that brighton are dealing with the transfer um caicedo has spoken already to deserve you about this the manager and the brighton hierarchy um the Caicedo's agent himself is coming to the US to try to get Chelsea and Brighton to come to the table in Philadelphia to have con to have discussions in regards to the player and try to get this deal done. You know, I think part of the problem with what has happened with Caicedo is that he signed a new contract which obviously gave him a boost in wages and there was a gentleman's agreement with with Caicedo and Brighton that if the right offer came in that they would sell him. And remember the right offer means that brighton can basically ask for over 100 million that's what they can believe the right offer for him is for and you know he's kind of hamstringed himself by signing a new contract with brighton football club and it just means that they have all the cars and all the power right now i think of chelsea part of the thing with them is that they believe because they're the only club that are currently in for Caicedo that they have some level of you know uh leverage there that said oh listen we don't want to come in for him and listen there's no other club coming in for Arsenal not coming in for him Liverpool's not coming for him Man City's not coming in for him none of the big six sides no one no one from you know outside of Europe is also coming in for him so you know listen we, we're the only ones that are coming in for him so you know we, we should be getting a good deal for him and Chelsea's third bid obviously still hasn't gone in apparently according to Jacobs Ben so at the end of the day, we don't know what's going on in regards to Chelsea Football Club. Um, hopefully, you know, we can get a deal done as soon as possible. Again, you know, it's, it's take this deal is taking now well over a month to do. Um, we know that the Chelsea Football Club are doing one deal at a time. And, you know, that can clearly hamper you. But considering the fact that, you know, you're still stuck on the one deal for over one month. Uh, one month and some change so it clearly it's clearly hampering you from you know targeting other targets that you may want for the football club um for the football club and for the team and also think about that this we're currently going through a preseason tour obviously you would love these players to be coming in getting some minutes with the team building up some chemistry you know obviously chemistry you know on the training training field is one thing but um training you know, um, so sorry, uh, tra chemistry, sorry, chemistry on the off field training is obviously one thing, but chemistry obviously on the field in a real life game, in a preseason game. While yes, preseason may not be an actual game, it still provides you some level of like experience of as to what you can expect from the guy that's going to be next to you, or the guy that's going to be uh, maybe the striker or the winger if you're a midfielder, or the guy that's going to be behind you, whether that be a defender, a midfielder, a goalkeeper. So you can get that chemistry levels, you know, sorted out. So again, with the Caicedo things. I just want it to get done, man, because obviously you've got other targets to deal with, other targets to deal with. Let's try and get this shit done, please. Please, 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 Chelsea Football Club. We're trying to move on here. I don't really care for me if the other, if, if we do, if, you're, if we obviously are aiming for like three to four signings, which I'm assuming that's what you're trying to do, which is, in my opinion, again, midfielder, uh, probably another like uh, some sort of like hybrid 10 that can also play on the wing, uh, goalkeeper, and possibly if you have to go for a striker as well, then clearly you know that's four signings that we need which and we should try to get those done as soon as possible but obviously the main aim is try to get the caicedo deal done and dusted that's what we should be aiming to really do and try to do that as soon as possible and that is pretty much all the news that i have currently on regard to moises caicedo now let's move on to elia wahi um elia wahi as you know is a striker from montpellier 19 years old or 19 20 years old he scored around about 20 league goals in league in this season um the club um have kind of uh, are basically close to agreeing a deal with montpellier in terms of the fee for the striker um it, i think there's just current discussions going on in terms of a the contract 
uh, for Ali Wahi, which seems to be the problem, which seems to be no problem. But I think it's where he plays. Is he going to be playing at Strasbourg, which is what the club wants, or is he going to be coming to Chelsea Club to play at Chelsea? The player wants to play at Chelsea and does not want to play at Strasbourg. And there's current discussions going on between the players' representatives and Chelsea Football Club to get that discussion along the way. Uh, along the way, there's also been some sort of rumours going around that you know Broha to West Ham might be re reunited again, and that maybe West Ham have reignited their interest in Broha. So that might mean that you know, obviously, considering the fact that Broha has obviously stayed back, you know, he hasn't gone in, and the club's um, the club's line has been that he's still recovering from his injury. If that is truly the case, then maybe if that's truly not the case and that he's actually stayed back because West Ham and Chelsea are trying to like agree a deal for Broha to go to that club then it would make sense to maybe bring in Elia Wahi to be the Chelsea backup number number two to someone like a Nicholas Jackson or to fight to fight you know for the number one striking position if you're not going to be bringing any other top tier striker so you know that is again something else to think about so it's interesting I think this Elia Wahi deal will probably get done um, whether he comes to Chelsea he probably will because like clearly it seems that the Chelsea are still really want him so that's probably what's going to happen i wouldn't be surprised but again if, you know the broha stuff is still speculative at best i would argue so we don't know if that's truly happening right now but there's been like some random rumors that have been coming out in regards to broha to west ham football club um now let's go over um uh, potch's press conference so potch has a press conference before the Brighton game which is tomorrow at midnight which is not this midnight coming, the midnight after, which is like the Saturday into Sunday midnight UK time. You can tune in to see my live stream in regards to that game. So, you know, I'm going to be having a live stream for the game. Watch live, watch along so we can watch the game together. You know, me, you and I, you know, you can ask me questions while you're watching the stream as well. And hey, listen, man, come along, tune in. Listen, man, I'm your host of the most. You can enjoy it together. And, you know, if there's any things that we, know, we notice or we, you disagree or agree with me, we can always, you know, discuss as well. Simple as that, really. But yeah, going into that, you know, he made a, he made a, um, Poch made a basement a quite a, um, a quote in saying that he would like signings in as soon as possible so that he can complete the squad. And again, you know, it just goes back to some of the stuff that I've been saying previously, which is like, you know, if this guy says he was taking too long, because clearly, you know, we want to get, we want to be getting all of the players that we need into the squad. And if we do have to gain any extras, we should have more than enough ample time to bring in extras if need be. If we find that the squad still isn't a hundred percent ready, and we need to buy maybe another spare part here, another spare part there. So. We need to just, you know, hasten it, hasten this stuff from happening, make sure this stuff happens as soon as possible. And, you know, clearly, it's, not, it's a clearly a, a, a thing of contention for, for Poch because, you know, he's, he's coming out making statements already in press conferences. So, usually when a manager is making out these press statements in press conferences, it usually means it's something that he's trying to, you know, tell the board, trying to give them a clear message in public. And he's probably doing so also in private that, guys, let's get these signs in because, you know, if you've watched some of the preseason stuff, some of the old stuff as well, you would have noticed that, you know, Poch is speak, Lawrence Stewart and um, um, Paul Will Stanley are constantly, you know, there watching the training, watching preseason, uh, in, in preseason as well. So clearly, you know, they're discussing and talking talking to him as well and watching the preseason happening and the preseason training. So clearly, they, they see what's going on. They know, mate, Poch is pretty much speaking with him. They're literally next to him just having discussions and everything. So clearly, they're having discussions. They're clearly having talks. So, you know, we need to get this done. Come on, guys. Listen, yeah, you know, this is your really, I would say this is your second transfer window. I think the first one, you know, January one, it's a bit more, a bit more complicated, you know, with the amount of players you brought in and how much he spent. Obviously, it's a bit too much, but this is really your test, guys. This is the test, and we need to see you guys in action, really. We need to see you guys in action. So, that's pretty much it in regards to that. Um, in regards to, you know... What is remaining for me to talk about? Reese James is back essentially now, back in training. So we, we should hopefully be able to see him tomorrow. Maybe it might be a bit too soon to him, you know, considering he just came off a play from Philadelphia, although he did train today. So maybe we'll see him, maybe we won't see him. But at the end of the day, it's going to be something interesting to see on that viewpoint as well. Um, and that is really, I think, all the news that we have so far. Am I missing anything off my top of my head? No, not really. I just think that's pretty much all the news that we've got from today so far. Um, listen guys, again, thank you for coming along to watch the video. Please make sure again to like and subscribe. The like, subscribe, the subscribe mark today is 290 subscribers, please. 290 subscribers, let's get that. It's as simple as that. Again, I told you guys tomorrow, I'll probably do a live stream video. Again, seven between 7 to 8 o'clock, you know, discussing uh, around about at 7 o'clock, I should say. 
no, sorry, at eight o'clock. Live stream at eight o'clock, guys. Uh, at eight o'clock, we'll just discuss, you know, some of the stuff, you know, maybe that's happening pre-game, pre-game discussions. And then at half past eleven, I'll be live again for the Chelsea versus Brighton preseason watch along. Again, that's half past eleven, and that's eleven thirty p.m. UK time, where we're going to be watching the Chelsea versus. We're going to be starting a Chelsea versus Brighton watch along. So um, stay tuned, guys. And as always, and as I always say to you guys, stay blue.